you're still watching the city newsroom on city tv we are currently at the university of ghana arguably the biggest university in the country this year alone over 50,000 people gained admission here and out of this over 80 percent of them were undergraduates underscoring all of this also is the issue of unemployment in the country and the ya job fair recently highlighted how prevalent it is in the country we are here at the university of ghana to find out what institutions like this one are doing to help address the situation we start off at the careers and counseling center of the university of ghana we're now in the office of the placement coordinator here at the career and counseling center of the university of ghana to get more perspective on this topic you're welcome to the city newsroom what do you make of this seeming deficit in the crop of graduates the system churns out okay so with hmm, crop of graduates the unemployment rates in the country currently um i think that probably is from both sides it can be from the students and it can also be from the fact that there are not a lot of jobs but i wouldn't like to say that there are not a lot of jobs available when you are i believe that when you're a student and you come to school whatever course you are given to do you can make a career out of it and students will come and say, I was given so so and so course, so I have no idea about the career. But then you realize that if they go and read more about that course, they realize that there are various things they can do with such a course. And then when they are in school, they are four years in school, you realize some students don't even take any internship opportunities, don't even volunteer their services. So when they finish school, they expect that the jobs should be waiting there for them. But I believe if you take some of these volunteering opportunities, maybe you might not get an internship. But if you decide that, oh, I want to volunteer my service here, most organizations will help you out with that. Then it gives you some, some experience. Then when you finish school, you will get a job. Of course, we say that now there are not a lot of jobs, but they are entrepreneurs. You can become an entrepreneur. So I won't say that. Of course, I agree with the fact that there are not a lot of jobs. A lot of people are looking for white collar jobs. I always say, instead of just sitting in your house crying that you don't have a job, get up one day, go to an organization and say that I want to offer my service, even if it's for free. If you're a photocopy machine, I'll do the photocopies for you. I think that if you try that, later on, if the company is looking for somebody, you are their first choice because you have volunteered your service. But if you stay home and say that there are no jobs, I'm not getting a job, I'm applying to here, you need to know somebody and things, you are not probably helping yourself. All right. Thank you so much for those uh, insightful tips you shared there. Clearly, there still is some light at the end of the tunnel, if only you are open to some of the ideas that she shared with us. Well, but now we'll cross over to my colleague, uh, Hansi Najiman, who has put together a report interacting with various graduates on how they are preparing to be employable. Joy, satisfaction and fulfillment expressed in merrymaking in both individual and organized parties depict the mood of most graduates when they complete school. If for nothing at all, the pain of doing schoolwork is over. When you finish school, you know that yes, we've been here for years and then at least we'll see each other. Or maybe you see each other in the future, but for now, let's just enjoy for some time, go out, and yeah, that's sort of thing. Had very good fun. Oh, yeah, 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 I enjoyed myself. Yeah. It's exciting, as you see. I mean, there's a long journey ahead of us. We are now moving into the real world to work. We are awaiting our NSS posting and all of that, but the feeling is exciting. Not having any school work to do for some time is really exciting. But reality always dawns on them as they are not oblivious of the unemployment situation in the country. Data from the Ghana Statistical Service confirms that unemployment is high among the educated in society. Professor William Barbwaten is a professor of economics at the University of Ghana. Employment that have been generated is not enough for the number of young people who are entering the labor market every year, every month and so on. So you always have a gap. And the funny thing is that the unemployment situation is becoming more acute among the educated. 
So that is why you have graduate unemployment being high. And if you take the statistics, unemployment rate is higher among the youth who have early secondary school education. And it is because these people are eyeing uh, employment in the formal sector. This situation is compounded by the inadequate job opportunities for fresh graduates. There are not many jobs, let's be honest. Uh, from where I sit, a lot of the jobs that we see are mostly at the mid-level to the C-suite level. When I say C-suite, so managing director roles, chief operations officer, executive director, etc., etc., And then mid-level roles, so maybe a marketing manager, human resource manager. You, you, you get very little of roles at the frontline level or entry-level roles, which most appeal to uh, graduates or people who have just finished national service, as the case may be. Gleaning from this, many graduates are left wondering or confused on what life holds for them after school. Things are quite difficult now and then looking at the unemployment and then a whole lot, a whole lot of issues are going around and then you don't even know if after school, after service you're going to get a life, if you're going to get to work. And then all of us are mostly with the thoughts of, okay, fine, after school, I'm going out of the country. After school, I want to leave here. After school, I want to do this. So it's like we are, we are a bunch of people confused if we are going to work or continue schooling or just going to be like the number of people who are unemployed. These fears have increased recently due to events that have typified the ticking time bomb, the scourge of unemployment presents to the country, the chaos at the YEA job fair, coupled with the increasing numbers at security agencies recruitments has made it a daily worry for fresh graduates. But for most of these graduates, they can only cling on to hope. We have hope that things will work out for us. You just have to be hardworking, prayerful, make sure you are doing the right thing at the right time and adapting to the changes like involving yourself in the technological world. I believe everything is going to be fine. Are you perturbed? Just a little, just a little, because I have friends who completed a year, two years ago, and I must say, things haven't been so easy, but we are hoping God's grace will find us and then everything will be fine. Despite these concerns, the government prides itself in creating more than 3 million jobs in its first term. But on the number of jobs, uh, yes, it is true. On 1st May 2018, I indicated that uh, the government of Nana Adodan Kofuado had created um, approximately 1 million jobs and uh, even though I don't have the exact figures for end of 2020, the last time we, we reported on was in September 2020 and then the figure was around 3 million jobs. These jobs however seem not to be enough to cater for the number of graduates churned out annually. This, according to experts, is due to a fundamental problem with our job creation approach. If you look at our growth uh, our polls, we always have extractives, mining, oil, driving our growth since 2011. And even uh, before then, when mining was, was the source of growth. But when you come to areas that we expect jobs to be, uh, employment to be created, manufacturing, agriculture, tourism i mean these sectors are not growing as fast that as fast as we expect to be able to generate employment so there's some kind of imbalance in our growth uh, process for the national union of ghana students it is time government reviewed its job creation initiatives um napco uh, has been there for some time i think it's time we did an assessment of the impact it has made the people who have been trained, the alternative jobs that they've been able to create out of these trainings. It shouldn't be a situation that people are just there and then for the expenditure reasons where people are giving, you know, 700 CDs to survive and that's the end of it. So let's begin assessment on these things that we've invested into train skills. Let's see if indeed the skills are being trained. If they are not, then we start the alternative direction. As most of the share institutions in the country are bidding farewell to their final year students, I took a trip to the University of Ghana to assess the readiness of some of these students for life after school. Upon my arrival, the university community was unusually empty, with the remaining students busily parking out, never to return, at least as undergraduate students. Parking bag and baggage some made time to have final conversations with friends. When I queried some of them 
on whether they were prepared to work in any part of the world with the training received, there was no certain answer. I would say um, medium, like not that because I've I've done an internship before and it wasn't that easy, but I think I'll 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 what were I'll the difficulties with this internship? With that internship, um, get it to grab things fast. But this is not surprising, as a number of economists and labor analysts have consistently stressed that poor quality of graduates to the job market is a major cause of the unemployment situation in the country. The quality of, of, of labor, the quality of skills that are coming out uh, is not the best. When you talk to employers, they will tell you that these days young people are interested in things that employers are not looking at. Even in the university, if I tell you that many young graduates don't know how to address letters. You don't expect any university lecturer to teach you how to address letters. This is not lost on the graduates themselves, as they point out some critical challenges with the teaching system or curriculum. I studied management information studies, yes. And then it's more of raising a 21st century entrepreneur, raising you to know of traditional commerce and then how to be a modern day entrepreneur and all that. And then it's kind of IT based. So f speaking for myself, I would have wished my course would involve a lot more practical yeah. than the theory. General Secretary of the National Union of Ghana Students, Julius Anthony, who has had the opportunity to study a year abroad in China, puts the problem in perspective with a comparison of his experiences both home and abroad. If you look at China, they have training schools for specific purposes. You understand. If, if they have training schools for agriculture, they have schools for leadership. If you are in China, there are certain schools if you didn't go to, you don't have space in politics. For example, Jungo uh, Rem um, the Chinese People's University, that school is specifically for training people into leadership. And the objectives are clear. But in our case, it's, it's, it's open to all, all goal kind of situation. Despite these clear challenges, fresh graduates are optimistic and seem to insist on their work. For most of them, regardless of the seeming unavailability of work, they will not settle for a job that pays below a certain amount. With uh, nothing less than 2K, 2,000 cities a month, I think it will make sense to get a salary of that amount, yeah. I don't even think the 2000 is much, but when you study the market and how much degree holders are being paid, that is it. So we, we, we don't have, people, people are even taking 1,005 and yeah. even less. So we would rather, we would prefer something around 5K, 10K, and, and <laughs> but actually, 10K. This is, this is how the Bro. economy is. So. Head of department at the economics department of the University of Ghana, Professor William Barboatin, is of the view that young people must manage their expectations and be open to opportunities that may not be that lucrative. Is that expectation of young people must be managed. They have to try and manage their expectation. If you manage your expectation, you start gradually, then you move on. If you stay somewhere in Medina, and then you are able to get uh, work uh, to do at East Ligon, you compute your, your transport and what you eat and so on. If it will it will be about 700 and you are paid 1,000 CDs, you can use that one, acquire more skills on the job training and your commitment to work will make that employer commit to uh, uh, improving on whatever any that you are having. He's of the view that young graduates should be engaged in productive ventures whether they are employed after school or not. For most of the students, the thought of being unemployed after school is disturbing, considering expectations from their family. You are done with school, so obviously you would not be expecting financial support from your parents all the time right now. You have little ones that you know when you go back home now they might be expecting something small. You would have to, I mean it's time to leave home. The expectation is really, really serious because they know that, oh, you've been to Asimi in yeah. this university. When it's done there, it means everything is okay. But that's, that's actually not it. Some are considering joining the informal sector, which employs over 80% of the total workforce in Ghana, 
He therefore should land a white collar job, prove futile. The the right now deliveries and all that is is, is on the high. So I think you can you can invest your money in something like that, maybe uh, maybe cooking, and then you do some delivery service, or you sell sneakers, you sell clothes, and other things, and then you find ways to make it grow and consistency as well. So Professor Barbuatin, however, thinks it is important fresh graduates embrace the idea of involving themselves in the agriculture production chain. But young people also have to know that there is good thing in agriculture. Many people are in Accra and they are farming. So it means that you can make it in farming, except that the way you have to do it. We have to just change our orientation and think that oh, the only thing that can make you survive is to work in the bank. But some of the graduates who are open to the idea dread the challenges. For most of these fresh graduates, completing school is a mixed feeling because of the unknown. Whether or not they'll get jobs after national service. Some may return here for masters and further studies. Reporting for City News, Hansen Ajeman.